Why is splinting important in first aid? Splinting is an essential first aid technique used to immobilize injured bones, joints, or soft tissues. It helps prevent further injury, reduces pain, and minimizes the risk of complications such as internal bleeding or nerve damage. Proper splinting stabilizes the affected area until professional medical care is available, making it a crucial step in emergency response. Common injuries that require splinting are fractures, sprains, and dislocation. Signs and symptoms are pain and swelling, deformity or misalignment, inability to move the affected limb, bruising or tenderness, possible open wounds, materials needed for splinting, first, rigid support, used to immobilize the injured limb, wooden board, cardboard, or rolled newspaper, bandages or ties to secure the splint in place, triangular bandage, and elastic bandage. Help! Help! First aid procedure for splinting. Step 1. Assess the situation. Ensure the scene is safe before providing aid. Do not try to move the injured person unnecessarily. Call for medical help if needed, such as suspected severe fracture, open wound, or compromised circulation. Step 2. Prepare for splinting. Keep the injured limb in the position you found it. Gather materials, rigid materials such as wooden board, rolled up newspaper, cardboard, or any sturdy object. Soft padding, such as clothing, towel, bandages to protect the skin. Ties or bandages, such as cloth strips, medical tape, triangular tape, bandages to secure the spleen. Step 3. Apply the splint for an arm or wrist injury. Place a padded splint along the arm. Secure it with bandages above and below the injury, using a sling to support the arm if needed. For a leg injury, place a splint on both sides of the injured leg for support. Pad around the bony areas to prevent pressure sores. Secure with bandages, ensuring they are snug but not too tight. For finger injuries, tape the injured fingers to a neighboring finger, body taping, or use a small splint. Check for circulation. Regularly check fingers or toes for warmth, color, and sensation. Loosen bandages if the limb becomes pale, cold, or numb.
For safety precautions, do not try to realign a broken bone. Avoid using excessive force when securing the splint. Do not tie bandages too tightly as this can restrict blood flow. If there's an open wound, cover it with clean dressing before applying the splint. After care and want to seek medical help, encourage the injured person to keep the limb still and elevated if possible. Apply an ice pack, wrap in a cloth to reduce swelling. Seek professional medical attention as soon as possible. If symptoms worsen, such as increased pain, numbness, or discoloration, adjust the splint and get immediate medical help. Knowing how to splint can make a big difference in an emergency. Stay prepared, stay safe.